All right, so hi, welcome to TMM Tutes. Today we're going to be talking about um, epithelium, and I'm going to go through some pictures that were from Functional Cur Histology. Um, it's a great book, and it teaches you histology really quickly. So I'm going to teach you it based on function. Um, there are a few key types, and it's an essential for medicine. So let's start with simple cuboidal epithelium. Um, so here we've got kidney tubules. So they're these square cells with a central nucleus, um, and they sort of line in, line in a single layer, usually tubules or lumens, um, and they form a wall, if you like. Um, notice that this is a hematoxylin and eosin stain, or H&E, and the hematoxylin is a purple and it stains the nucleus, and the eosin is a pinker color and it stains the proteins in the cytoplasm. Um, and that'll be in, on all the pictures. So here's a simple columnar epithelium. Um, so it's usually an absorptive or secretory type epithelium. It has rectangles um, with nuclei that usually lay at the base in a single layer. And you can see here that they're still in um, that single layer forming the outer surface, um, but they often have surface structures that specialize them to the tissue that they're in. But we'll see them as we go. So for example, here we have microvilli. Um, these are little sort of branches um, that extend from the cellular surface and they increase the surface area by about 20 fold. These are mostly found uh, in the small intestines and they really aid in um, absorption. So we also have a goblet cell there. It's uh, filled with mucus um, and this is secreted out into the lumen to lubricate the contents, so food passage. Um, goblet cells are also very important in respiratory epithelium. Um, and again, you can see the H&E stain, except this time the nuclei are slightly more purple, but there's definitely not as dark as the nucleus. So here we have simple squamous epithelium. Now, simple squamous with one single layer is uh, usually found on internal surfaces, so along organs like the heart, lungs, and other viscera. Uh, it can be called a mesothelium. Now the actual squamous cells themselves can be difficult to um, see. They sort of look like a fried egg cut in half. Um, that's the way I think of it. So we've got a long thin cell with a, a big nucleus that's sort of like flattened out. Um, and in these mesotheliums they often secrete a serous fluid that lubricates the organs in the compartments that they lie in. So this is also squamous, but it's sort of a zoomed out view. Um, and you can see the, the middle layer there the, where it says epithelial cells. Um, there's many, many layers of these sort of egg, egg shaped cells. Um, and squ stratified squamous is usually in abrasive surfaces. And keratinized is, just means that it's on the skin because keratin is a protective protein that they that the cells make to um, protect from the abrasive surfaces that we all we all come in contact with. Um, they replicate from the base, base of the layers, up to the top. And in a later photo, we'll see that more clearly. Um, so this is sort of a weird type, I guess. Um, this is a transitional epithelium. Uh, so there's many, many cells all stacked all over the place. Uh, it's usually only for areas in areas of stretch. So like the bladder, urethra, um, and when it's relaxed, it's sort of a columnar stack, and then when it's stretched, it becomes squamous. So here we have the squamous epithelium that I was talking about before, um, but this time it has no keratin. It's stratified because it has many layers. Now notice down the bottom, there's sort of circular cells, and they extend to the top and become more, more flat and squamous. Um, so this is still for abrasive surfaces, but usually found internally i.e. the esophagus or the cervix, the anus, places that have to deal with um, sort of rough objects passing through. And yeah, they become more squamous as they head towards the top. So here we've got the last type. Um, this is sort of an in-between type, I guess. It's called pseudostratified. Um, and all the cells are actually in contact with the base, even though it looks like two or three layers. Uh, this is almost exclusively found in the respiratory epithelium. Uh, it has multiple functions. That's why it's sort of in between the, the stratified and simple layer. Um, so it's both prote protective and secretory. Um, so i.e. when you breathe in toxins, it has to deal with it, but it also secretes mucus. That's why you cough. 
Um, and notice that it also has cilia that they beat in synchronicity to uh, move mucus so we can cough it up and clear bacteria and things. I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks so much for watching.